Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> how's it going? Hope you're doing well. So you're going on a first date. That is so exciting, right? I know you're going on a date with this person or you're going to spend some time with this person. However, it is that you guys are going to end up together, right? But you're going to be spending time with this person. What are some questions that you must never, never ask on a very first date. Let me introduce you. So, very first question, why are you still single? I know there is a part of people that, that makes them think that that question is a compliment. Like, oh my God, you're so awesome. Why are you still single? I don't know. I, I, maybe if you had come ask me out, 10 years ago, maybe I'll be married and be a grandma by now. <laughs> Jam question. Jam. What do you mean, why am I still single? You too, why are you still single? No, no, it's not a compliment, okay? Stop it. Number two, have you ever tried online dating? Now, listen to me. There is absolutely nothing wrong with online dating. You can meet people anywhere. There is no, I'm not even against online dating. Date wherever you want to date. Just be safe with it. However, when you are on a first date with someone for the very first time, you don't want it to seem like you're just out there uh, you know, throwing your, your nets into the sea and see who is going to catch, you know, uh, which fish is going to bite. Like, oh, I'm desperate. You don't want, you don't want to appear like that. So even if you have experience or you have tried online dating or whatever, that could be a conversation for later on at some point when you guys are a lot more familiar with each other, you understand each other a whole lot more. You at that point, you can start to joke about it. You can start to share experiences or swap experiences, whatever the case is. But on a first date, you don't want to give someone the perception that, oh, I'm desperate. I'm just, I'm just looking for whoever to date and now. Nah. Number three, where do you see this relationship going? I am all for defining the relationship. However, not on a first date. The first date is for you to determine whether the person even has a potential of being your partner or not. The first is like the very first interview for a job. That's not the first interview. I mean, they can get a sense that, oh yes, this is the person we're looking for, but they don't come into that interview saying, this is the person that we want because they don't know you. They've never met you before. That's kind of like how it is with the very first date. You know, you're, even if you, you've, you've, you've been friends with the person, like maybe you guys share friends, you've run into each other here and there, but if you have never spent time alone together, just the two of you, and this is going to be your very first time, you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to seem desperate. You don't want to rush it. You know, you don't want to, come on too hard, too aggressive, no. And those are the like signals that that kind of question brings up in a person's mind when you start to say, oh, so where do you see this relationship going? Following closely behind question number three is question number four, and that is the question of kids. How many kids do you want? Uh, we're on a first date. Are we, are we talking kids already? <laughs> if the person you're on a date with has kids and you know the person has kids, right? Maybe you know the person has one. I, yeah, it's okay to say, oh my gosh, your baby is so adorable. Yes, you know, when I saw her last time, oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Like, oh, how many kids do you have? That's fine. Oh, you know, I have just the one. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Make the person feel comfortable first and then you can ask, oh, oh my gosh, like how many kids do you have? Oh, just the one, oh, that's so cute. Okay, you know, that's fine. But on a typical first date with someone you're just getting to know, you don't want to start saying, oh my gosh, so how many kids do you want to have? I'm thinking of having 10, you know, five boys, five girls, and then, you know, we just make it like a soccer team, like, Okay, that's great, but not on a first date. Number five, what happened to your last relationship? Why did you guys break up? I don't, you think I'm here? I got all dressed up, did makeup, what a wig in this weather. 
just to come and talk to you about a relationship that ended God knows when, just to come and talk to you, to come and reminisce <laughs> on an old, an, an ex. I'm not here for that person. I'm here for you. Okay, I have no interest on where you have been. I'm interested in where you're going. I'm interested in who you are. Number six, I feel like a lot of people will know this because it's more like common sense, <laughs> okay? But asking someone, so how many people have you been with? How many people have you slept with? You know? It's rude. It's disgusting. It's absolutely unnecessary. What are you going to do with that information? I don't think anyone would easily answer that question and not take offense to being asked, especially on a first date. Number seven. So, you know, you got there, maybe you're having dinner or whatever. You've sat down, they, they've, you've ordered your food, whatever the case is. And then you go, oh, all right. So tell me about yourself. Am I at a job interview? Like, I didn't, I, di I, di I didn't know I was at a job interview. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> that question lacks interest, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't make you seem as if you have interest in actually getting to know that person. Tell me about yourself. Oh, how about, oh, I love your outfit. Well, thank you. Oh, wow, those earrings are beautiful. Thank you. You look so lovely yourself. Oh, thank you. Complimenting the person so you can break the ice. Oh, you have a nice smile. Thank you. Oh, do you like the restaurant? I hope you like it. I heard the food here is really good. I like the ambience and I thought it might be something you like. Is this right up your... That person, if they are interested in you, will pick up a conversation and then you just flow. But you don't go in there to go and say, hey, tell me about yourself. Tell, tell, tell you, tell you, call. Why, why not go and Google it? Go and go. Ask, ask Google. Am I Google? <laughs> All right. So number eight is for specific situations where maybe uh, you met the person you're on a date with at the same time you met their friend. Or maybe you guys are following each other on Instagram and that person is constantly posting pictures of a particular friend or whatever the case is. So you meet up with the person you are on a date with and your question is, Oh, so who is that friend of yours? Oh yeah, no, she's, she's just, uh, she's a colleague. Yeah, we work together. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. You guys always take pictures together. What does she do? When, when, when you start to show interest in that person's friend, it makes that person feel like, well, if you had questions about my friend, why didn't you just go and ask her or go and ask him to come on a date with you? Do you get what I mean? It makes it seem like you're more interested in them than the person that's sitting or whatever with you, in front of you. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't show interest in other things, other people when you're on the very first date. You know, even your waiter, don't look at the bomb. Don't, 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 someone passes your eyes, follow them from the moment they stand up to they sit down, to they enter their car. To their car, does pim pim, you are still looking. Luku luku. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? So you, you want to show interest in the person you're with, not in other people. Number nine, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I, I, personally, I don't like that question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? It's just a low lot of pressure inside that question. And I don't like it. I don't know why people ask it. I don't even know where it came up from in the very first place. Oh, you know, yes, I have dreams. Yes, I have aspirations. But when people ask me that question, it puts me under pressure. It puts me under pressure. And I don't like it. Especially in the times we are in. Only we were going to go through what we went through in the whole of 2020-2021. Who knew? Nobody. Nobody knew. Yet here we are. Do you understand? So don't, don't put people under pressure by saying, so what are your life aspirations? Uh, where do you see yourself in the next five years? And there are some men, when they ask that question, they want you to say, oh, I see myself married. Thank you, Drain. I'm taking care of my family. That's what some men, some, Sha, that's what they want to hear. 
you know, and then when you start to tell them, oh yeah, I see myself having a successful career, you know, traveling the world, they start to look at you like, oh. Number 10, so you've had a very lovely dinner, a very lovely date, whatever, or you, maybe you are going to see a movie and whatever, and just arrived at the movie theater, at the counter, and you're about to buy your tickets, or maybe you've had dinner, and now it's time to pay. And then you go, oh, do you mind picking up the tab? Either the man says it to the woman, or the woman says it to the man. Either ways. No. I mind picking up the tab. As a matter of fact, personally, I believe that on a first date, both of us should pay. That's my belief. Now, there are some men that would say no. You know, they will not allow the woman to pay. That's fine. Good for them. You know. But if a man allows you to pay your half, I don't think that makes him a bad man. I think you, you, you shouldn't judge based on that. I think it's okay for people to go on a first date and then split the bill. We don't owe each other anything just yet. We're just getting to know each other. We're just spending time together for the very first time. So it's okay to split the bill. When I went on a date for the very first time with my now husband, I offered to split the bill. He insisted that he would pay. Do you understand? But I offered. And I had my money to pay. It wasn't I was just offering, making my No, you know, you always have to have your own so that nobody can shakara you. They can't collect your purse and collect your phone and collect your earrings. No. Do you understand? But at the same time, you shouldn't pick up the responsibility of the date. Put it on your shoulders. Is it your birthday? No. No. Why are you the one paying? Either you split the bill or the man pays for it. I said what I said. Take it or leave it. And that's on period, okay? That's on if Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> now, I want to know, tell me your first date experiences. Mine was pretty pleasant. I don't think I've ever had a first date experience. I was quite nasty, but I know a lot of people have. So if you've had hilarious, any peculiar experience about your first, day exper uh, your first date experience, please share it down below in the comment section, okay? If you have more questions or clarifications about any of the questions, then please go ahead and ask in the comment section as well. I hope you learned a few things from the video. I hope it was value for your time thank you so much for watching if you'd love to see more of this then please subscribe to the channel i do vlogs as well if you see me for the first time <laughs> thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much i can't wait to see you again very very soon i pray god blesses you your homes your marriages your relationships but most importantly i pray god blesses you remain in god and god bless you Mwah. bye